This is an introduction to NCA Level 2 Calculus. It's just the basics and there are a dozen or so videos that follow. Each of the individual skills is discussed, but in this one we talk about the terminology and how we differentiate. Calculus is finding the rate of change of functions. At achieve level, that means working on the gradients of graphs. The gradient is the rate of change of the graph. In level 2, the only functions used are polynomials. A polynomial is where the function is defined in terms of some coefficient of x to a power. And we can have a string of those, but each of them is a coefficient and x to a power. At level 2, the powers are only whole numbers, but the coefficients can be decimals or fractions. If you're worried about functions, then the second video discusses them in a little bit more depth. In practice, it's just the same as working with the graphs we have in the past of the form y is equal to polynomial of x. You've got to get used to working with either form they'll ask either in the exams. Gradient, just to remind you, is the change in y over the change in x. But when the graph curves, we can't measure that because it's keep on changing. So we find an instantaneous slope, what it is at any particular instant. And to do that, we bring in the concept of infinitely small change. So instead of the delta, a measurable change, we talk about d, an infinitely small change. But the process is otherwise the same. So visually, this is what it looked like. At each point on the red parabola, there is a gradient, which is changing. At the point where x is equal to 3 here, we have a gradient equal to that of the blue line. And we find our gradient via our gradient function, which we find by differentiating. That's the primary skill, and you can't do anything else before you're good at that. We take our function, some polynomial of x, and we use that to find our gradient function. And the way that we do that is we take each of the powers and multiply them by the coefficient in front, and then reduce the power by 1. So, 3 times 4 is 12, and then the 4 is reduced to 3. 7 times 1 is 7, and when you take away one power of x, you're left with nothing. If the term is constant, then it disappears. Again, just to revise the notation, we have a function, and we get a gradient function, and we indicate that it's a gradient function by putting a little dash between the f and the x, or we have a graph, y is equal to some function of x, and the gradient function is indicated by dy by x, the change in y relative to the change in x. Otherwise, they are exactly the same. And that gradient function is everything in calculus. You're either calculating it, or you're calculating from it, for every differentiation question. The gradient function gives the gradient at every point on the function. If you can handle that concept, then the rest of it will fall into place. This is what we have to remember. You differentiate function, you get a gradient function, and the gradient function gives the gradient at every point on that function.